Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video will demonstrate how to restart a replicate task from the log sequence number, or LSN, for a Postgres source. Here we have a sample task with one table, which has full load and change data capture enabled. We have a Postgres source and a file target. We are replicating one table called C sub test. The task is currently stopped and has already gone through a full load. Here's how the table looks via PG admin on the source side. The user ID field currently runs up to 1433. These inserts here will bump those values up once run. However, those changes are not replicated to our target file because the task is not running. Restarting the task using LSN for Postgres source can be a useful method if there are issues or limitations using the resume processing option. Using the advanced run options will allow you to go back in time and reprocess records from the past without running a full load. Under advanced options, we want the second choice. Unfortunately for a Postgres source, restart from a date and time is not supported. So we will specify the LSN start position in the source database log where you would like to resume change processing. There are two ways to find this position value, query or from the replicate log. Under advanced run options in the click help documentation, there are some example queries to run to get the current LSN value in the source database. The second option is to get that value from the replicate log file. The logs can be found here under program files, attunity, replicate, data, logs. Ours is the most recent. In the log file for the task, search for final saved task state. After the words stream position is the LSN value that we're looking for. Starting the replicate task from this position will pick up the changes that have occurred since the task was stopped. Copy that. Back in replicate, paste that value from the log in the source change position, then click OK. The task starts running again, and it picked up those two inserts that were made after the task was stopped. Those changes can even be confirmed in the new change data capture log. Additionally, the task log confirms that the change data capture was initiated at the specified position without performing a full load. If you'd like more information, take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, community MVPs, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a Click product forum. Hiding in plain sight is the search tool. This engine allows you to search Click Knowledge Base articles, Click Community Forums, help.click.com, Click Gallery, multiple Click YouTube channels, and more, all from one place. There's also the Support Space. We recommend you subscribe to the Support Updates blog and learn from Click experts via a webinar, like Expert Talks or Q&A with Click. Thanks for watching.